everyone welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i want to show you how to post the item from the uh, subsidiary channels to general ledgers so um these are some of the uh, subsidiary journals that i'll be using today the cash receipt journal the cash payment journal the debt or uh, sales journal and the last one is the credit jar or purchase journal so uh let's continue with our lesson so the first part um I want to show you how uh, to post uh, uh, how to post sorry about my camera so I want to show you how to post uh, the the information or the item from the subsidiary channels to the bank account so the first thing that you need to know here you need to know the item that you need in your bank account uh, in your general ledger which is your bank account so uh, the item you need here, you need the balance pro down, uh, that is to be uh, debited. You need the total receipt, that is to be credited. You need the total payment, um, that is to be uh, credited. So uh, so uh, these are the items that you need, uh, three of them. So the balance pro down is always provided. So the balance pro down is always provided. The total receipt, we get the total receipt from the cash receipt journal. And the total payment, we get it from the cash payment journal. So these are the three items that you need. Um, to record in your bank account and so the difference between the debit and credit uh, side of the bank account is considered to be the balance carry down so the difference between the our debit side and credit sides of the bank account is considered to be the balance carry down which then becomes the the balance brought down of the uh, next accounting period so uh, those are the items that you need um, to record in your bank uh, ledger account so uh, let's just begin with uh, our exercise here so uh, we are given these are the information uh, that was provided to us and so now we need to post this information into uh, our ledger which is the bank account so uh the balance provided here sorry um so um the balance provided was um 15550 15150 i mean so uh, the cash uh, we are given the cash uh, receipt generous and we are given the cash uh, we are provided with the cash payments generous and so we need to find the total the total receipt and the total payment from uh, this this generous so uh, from the cash receipt generous we need the total receipt and the amount is missing and from the cash payment generous we need the total payment and the amount is missing also so now we have to calculate uh first of all we need to calculate the missing figures so this is our bank account so far what we have here is only uh we only have the balance that was provided fifteen thousand one hundred and fifty so this is fifteen thousand one hundred and fifty so we don't know the total receipt from the cash receipt general we don't know the total receipt and uh from the cash payment generous here uh, we don't know uh, we, we don't know the total payment from the cash payment journal we don't know the total payment so now we need to calculate uh, uh, the the total receipt from the cash receipt journals and the total payment from the cash payment journals and so uh, I want to show you now how to calculate this so uh, calculating the missing figures in the, in the subsidiary journals so we have the missing figure in the in our cash receipt journals and we have the missing figure in in our, our cash payment journals we need to know what the total receipt was we also need to know what the total what the total payment was in the bank account we need to know uh before we we are uh, we post this information and we post this item into uh, our bank account into our bank ledger account so uh to calculate the total receipts uh first of all you need to know the total receipt of uh the total receipt which is the bank column here uh it represents all the money that was received and banked so we need to find out how much money was banked, uh, how much money was banked. So, so far we know that uh, uh, the uh, the money, uh, part of this money was uh, for sales. It was 2,200 uh, and, and uh, the other part was uh, the 52,000 from the sundry account. And we have to ignore the cost of sale account because it has nothing to do, to do this has nothing to do with uh, the, the, the uh, receipts or the cash receipts. So, um, to get the amount, we add the amount of all accounts except the the cost of sale uh, account. We we add all the amount of, of of we add the amount of all the columns here in our cash receipts. Uh, so we add sales, and we add a sundry account. So the amount of sales was two thousand two hundred. The amount of sundry um, account was uh, fifty two thousand. So and we ignore the the cost of sale. Uh, so uh, excuse me. So the amount we get here is is. Uh, the amount for uh, total receipts. So the amount we get here is fifty four thousand two hundred. So this was the total receipt. So now we know what the, the total receipt. The amount that was banked uh, was uh, the amount. The total amount of money that was banked was fifty four thousand two hundred. I mean fifty four thousand two hundred. 
And so, uh, and then we move on to cash receipts. I mean, the cash payment standards. So now we are trying to find out the amount, the missing amount, the the missing amount of total payment. Uh, we are trying to find out the the, the total amount that, that was paid out of the bank account. So uh, the total payment here, it represents all the money that was paid out of the bank account. So to get this, we add all the amount of all accounts or all the columns in our cash payment standard. So we add all the amounts of, of, of all our accounts. We add the amount for inventory plus wage plus credit control plus the sundry account and the total we give us uh, the amount of total payment. So uh, the amount here, we add 3,500 for, for inventory plus uh, 2,500 for wage plus 25,000 for creditors account plus 14,000 uh, uh, 395 and we get uh, 45,395 and this represents the total payment. So now we have uh, our total receipts and we have our total payments. And so now we have to uh, enter this information into our bank account. So um, now we, uh, our missing figures is, uh, our, miffi our missing figures uh, was solved. So now we just need to enter the information into our bank account. So, um, so this is our cash receipt journals. I mean, this is our cash receipt journals now. The amount of total receipt is there now, and the amount of total payment is there. So now we just need to uh, conclude our bank, uh, our um, our bank ledger, our bank uh, ledger account. So uh, so far uh, we have the balance brought down. I mean, the balance brought down was provided is uh, fifteen thousand uh, one hundred and fifty, and so the total receipt from the cash receipt journals is uh, uh um. Uh, fifty four thousand two hundred and so the, we enter the amount here and the total payment so the total payment is forty five thousand three hundred and ninety five and so uh the difference between our debit side and our credit side is uh considered to be the balance carried down so uh we add the total of our debit side and we minus the the, the credit side and we get uh, the difference which is the uh, considered to be the balance uh carried down which is twenty nine thousand um twenty three thousand nine hundred and fifty five and so